Welcome to episode four of the Force with No Name podcast. Today's episode is once again brought to you by our presenting sponsor, Sight and Sound Theaters. Located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Sight and Sound is a proud sponsor of Charger Athletics. Go beyond entertainment with Sight and Sound. Every show is an epic experience with a meaningful message. Surround yourself with uplifting Bible stories brought to life in jaw-dropping scale by world-class cast, spectacular special effects, and live animals. Visit the Tickets tab at lbcchargers.com to make a reservation today. Partial proceeds from your purchase support Charger Athletics. Time is running out to see Jonah, as Jonah will close on October 14th. So if you haven't gotten out to see Jonah, definitely something you want to do here in Lancaster is to go see Jonah. It's a great show. Took the family a few weeks ago, as I mentioned before, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So definitely want to go out and see Jonah before it ends. And the miracle of Christmas uh, will conclude this year, and then Jesus will start in March out there at Sight and Sound. Been a busy week here in Lancaster. Each team has played multiple games, most of them coming here in Lancaster. Uh, since last week's episode, the LBC women's volleyball team has gone one and two. They split a try match on Saturday with St. Elizabeth and St. Mary's College of Maryland. The Chargers defeating St. Elizabeth three to one in the morning. That it, the more important match of the two is that was the NIAC match uh, for the day. Uh, the Chargers then lost to the Seahawks three nothing in the afternoon. Uh, the Chargers also suffered a 3-0 loss to Wesley on Tuesday evening here at Horst Athletic Center. So the Chargers 3-6 and six overall, but 2-1 and one in the act play. And uh, frankly, the second record more important than the, the first at this point uh, as LBC looks to uh, make the playoffs in the NEAC for the seventh straight season. Uh, they'll have opportunities to play against NEAC schools uh, this weekend as well as next week. Uh, they host a tri-match today with Valley Forge and Matt Aloysius, both of those being non-conference matches, but the Chargers will take on SUNY Cobleskill on Saturday morning up in Cobleskill, New York, and then take on Southern Vermont. So again, the morning match, more important of the two as the Chargers and Fighting Tigers, uh, both NEAC members. And then next Wednesday, LBC will take on uh, Penn State Abington down in Abington, Pennsylvania. So two more NEAC matches coming up for the Chargers. Uh, certainly would love to see that record go to 4-1 and one as they look again to build their case uh, for a NEAC playoff run. The LBC women's soccer team cracked the win column for the first time on Wednesday as they defeated Regent 8-0 at Charger Field. Sophomore Kate Spezio netting the first two goals of her collegiate career, also netting their first goals uh, over their career, were Jane Dietrich and Madison Miller. Uh, Maddie Dion, Kirsten Hatch, and Danny Vinny also scored in the victory for the Chargers. And uh, on this day of firsts for LBC, uh, sophomore goalkeeper Rihanna Miles also netting, excuse me, also earning her first collegiate victory between the pipes for LBC. Uh, freshman Kendra Brown also getting some action between the pipes for the first time in her career yesterday as well. So the LBC women's soccer team now 1-5. in five. They'll head to uh, St. David's PA on Saturday morning and face Eastern at 11 a.m. before returning home on Wednesday to open NEAC play. They'll host the four-time defending conference champion Penn State Burks Nittany Lions. Chargers and Nittany Lions uh, had an epic NEAC final last season in which Penn State Burks won uh, in double overtime with 32 seconds remaining. So the Chargers looking to avenge that loss and open up NIAC play uh, with a victory uh, over the uh, defending champion, uh, Penn State Burks and the Lions. After a disappointing loss last week to Karen, the men's soccer team has responded with two straight uh, strong performances. They played to a scoreless draw on Monday night uh, at Gwinnett Mercy, uh, but played well defensively and created some good opportunities offensively that head coach Tom Art uh, really liked. And then they followed that up with a 3-1 victory uh, against Juniata yesterday at Charger Field, uh, sophomore Kenny Axelson and sophomore Dan Babersdorf scoring second half goals to help uh, lead the Chargers to that victory after Juniata had tied it up 1-1 early in the second half. Axelson scored about midway through the second half uh, for his first collegiate goal, uh, very timely for LBC. And uh, Dan Babersdorf with a highlight goal to uh, cap the scoring and ice the game for the Chargers with about five minutes remaining. So he put the ball behind his back and drilled a left-footed shot from about oh, 24, 25 yards out. Uh, highlight real goal uh, that he's definitely going to want to keep for a while uh, as he helped the Chargers ice that game. Senior Don Buffon started the scoring for LBC just 56 seconds into the contest. And speaking of 56, Buffon didn't score a goal in the first 56 go games of his career and now has two goals in his last three games. So a welcomed addition to the score sheet for the Chargers as Buffon has had some big goals for LBC here in the last week. The Chargers will head to Center Valley, Pennsylvania on Saturday and take on to sales at 3.30 before returning back to campus on Wednesday, and they'll host Penn State Burks as well, as that game will be at 2, followed by the women at 4.15. I want to send a special thanks to our faculty and student-athletes who came out to the soccer games yesterday at Charger Field. LBC was celebrating winning the 2016-17 NEAC President's Cup uh, yesterday, and they treated all faculty and student-athletes to uh, Lancaster Cupcake Cupcakes. And uh, it was a great turnout, uh, a lot of faculty out there cheering on the Chargers and student-athletes coming out as well to uh, cheer on their classmates. 
despite what I said during the broadcast, I was able to get a few cupcakes. I had one last night as I was typing the story in my office and took a few home and may have snuck another one in there before uh, before I went to bed. So they're delicious. Chocolate peanut butter, definitely the way to go if you're going to head over to Lancaster Cupcake. Uh, we certainly thank them uh, for bringing the cupcakes over and uh, helping us celebrate uh, winning the NEAC President's Cup for the 2016-17 uh, season. I want to remind our viewers that uh, next week's show will be an interview with our uh, head uh, baseball coach, TJ Horn. I'm going to talk to TJ about uh, his baseball program here, as well as uh, his being an admissions counselor here for LBC, some of the things he talks about during tours, some of the things he highlights when he's talking to prospective student athletes, and also talk to him about his time here as a student athlete. TJ, member of the baseball team from 2005 to 2008. And I'm going to talk about his time here at LBC, the changes that have happened over the last decade or so, and just a good time to talk with TJ and everything that he's doing here for the baseball program, as well as helping LBC recruit students to the college. Next week is homecoming week here at LBC. There'll be lots of athletic events, as well as other events here on campus. Uh, the aforementioned soccer games on Wednesday with Penn State Berks. And Thursday will be your lone chance to see the LBC cross-country program here on campus. The Chargers host the LBC Homecoming Invitational at 4 o'clock next week. The women's race will begin at 4 o'clock on uh, Thursday, and then the men will race right around 5 o'clock. So the LBC Cross Country Program coming off a terrific Penn State Abington Invitational last week. Uh, Tanner Crobb won the individual uh, first place trophy there at Penn State Abington Invitational, and the men's team also won the first place trophy as a team. And then Sammy Stoner uh, won the women's race as well for the Chargers. So uh, both teams running well, getting stronger, getting ready for that late season push as they build for the NEAC championships as well as the NCAA uh, Mideast Regional Championships as well. So your lone chance to come out and see the Chargers race, so head on out here uh, to uh, campus and you can follow them around campus and the, the new course that's been designed a bit around the back of campus. So uh, most people don't get a whole lot of chances to go to the back of campus. So uh, if you're into uh, watching the cross country racing, you can certainly come out and check out the back part of campus. Next Saturday is actually homecoming, and uh, the LBC soccer team will be hosting St. Elizabeth. The men's game will begin at 11.30 a.m., followed by the women's game at 2 p.m., so come on out and uh, enjoy the food trucks. There's lots of fun things to do for the kids, and just take in some soccer games and reconnect with some alumni and some friends here on the campus of Lancaster Bible College. Be sure to follow all the action on our Chargers Sports Network, our YouTube page there, and for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, you can search at LBC Athletics and stay up to date on all of the great things happening here at LBC as we push towards the middle of the fall season. I want to once again thank our presenting sponsors, Sight and Sound Theaters. Appreciate everything they do for us in the athletic department. If you haven't made it out to a show, like we said before, you certainly want to get out there and do that and enjoy Jonah and the miracle of Christmas and Jesus coming up in March. Lots, lots of action here on campus over the next 10 days or so, so come on out and cheer on the Chargers. This has been Zach Freeman. Thank you for watching the Horse of No Name podcast. Go Chargers, go!